Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. This contest is for the Fight UK flyweight title, fought under 125 pounds. Here I am with Josh Foster. Josh is fighting in our main event tonight for the Fight UK flyweight title. Uh, Josh trains out of BST, which is Blood, Sweat and Tears in Northampton. Josh, how are you feeling today, mate? Uh, never felt better. Never felt better. Feel great. Excellent. Obviously, you're a veteran of Fight UK. You've been through the system before. You know what it's all about. And obviously, I'm assuming you're looking forward to taking that belt home, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time coming. Uh, Chris and I was supposed to fight uh, last November. Um, unfortunately, I fought a couple months before that and got a bad concussion, so I couldn't take that fight. He beat Mark Hanley to take the belt. I've beat Mark Hanley since, so it makes sense. Excellent, excellent. Well, look, you look very well prepared. You look very confident. Is there any special preparation you've made for this particular fight? Uh, I actually changed my strength and conditioning program for this fight. That was my main priority this time around. I now train at a gym called Progressive Training Systems in Northampton. Uh, they've got incredible facilities and they've got me in great shape. I think hopefully the proof will be in the pudding tonight. Excellent. Well, look, you've got a big smile on your face there. You seem pretty confident. Can't wait. Um, exactly. Look, you're, sat, you're, you're chomping at the bit. So look, all that's left to really see me is a uh, good luck, and I uh, look forward to seeing you putting on a good performance tonight. Here I am with Chris Bear. Chris is fighting in our main event tonight for the uh, Fight UK flyweight title. Chris is undefeated at 4-0. Chris, you're looking very, very prepared. You're looking very, very confident. How are you feeling, mate? Uh, really good. Right foot went great. Chinese went great. So just looking forward to the tonight. Excellent. Well, look, the guys from Pariah, they've, um, they've obviously, they're very experienced within the Fight UK circuit. A lot of your guys have fought on this show before. I would assume they're used to the format and the nerves won't be playing up that much. Um, but how much have you prepared for your opponent? Anything specific? Um, it's been like a year in the making, really. I was meant to fight him this time last year through injuries on both parts. It's took this time long to get to it, so I've been ready for a while. Uh, well, a year's preparation. You must be ready and raring to go then. Yeah, can't wait right now. Excellent. Well, look, main event, title fight on the line. Hopefully, you'll keep your keep your keep your zero. Get the belt around your waist when you leave. We're looking forward to a good performance. Wish you the best of luck, mate, and I can't wait to see you tonight in the cage. Cheers, thanks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing these title fighters properly. Fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Milton Keynes. He's 22 years old, stands five feet seven inches tall, and weighed in at 125 pounds. He fights for BST and has a mixed martial arts record of four contests, three wins and one loss. Let's hear it for George Foster. And here opponent fighting out of the red corner he hails from Birmingham he's 22 years old stands 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighed in at 125 pounds he fights for pariah MMA and has a perfect mixed martial arts record of four contests with four wins let's hear it for Chris Knight This flyweight title is fought over three five-minute rounds. Okay, gentlemen, you both understand the rules you're fighting under. If you have any questions on them, okay, if you want to touch gloves, do it now. Back to your corners, let's do this. It is that time of the evening already, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ben College. With me, as always, Dangerous David Leatherby, as we take on the main event here at Fight UK 10. The flyweight title is on the line as Pariah's Chris Mia in the red shorts takes on Josh Foster from BST in the black shorts. Foster with a 3-1 and one record. Mia remaining perfect, 4-0. Both guys we've seen at Fight UK, both guys, Dave, can finish fights. Yeah, they certainly can. Mia is an extremely dangerous guy on the ground. Foster, dangerous on the ground also, but I'd say more of an all-rounder. He'd probably be keen to avoid the ground with Mia, but very evenly matched these two. And, you know, Ben, in a division, in the flyweight division, it's just really exploding at the moment. More and more guys joining it. You know, you've got the likes of Phil Harris, obviously, representing the UK and the UFC. But it's a real up-and-coming division, and these are two of the finest young talents. I think the other thing with it, 
with the division being up and coming, Dave, and with it being a new division, is that every single victory means so much. Yeah. Whereas before, we've had fighters who, and there's some big takedowns as we say that from Chris Mir, because before we've seen fighters labor and have to put in a lot of performances, get a run of victories before they get a, a shot at titles in different weight categories. Whereas you look at something like Chris Mir, a 4-0 record in the flyweight division, another couple of big wins, Dave, who's to say where he could go? Yeah, that's it. You string a few wins together in this division and you're really making waves. And this is what Josh Foster would have been worried about. He did not want to be on his back this early on with Chris Mia, an excellent grappler. For me, Dave, Chris Mia looks very, very big at this weight. Yeah, he does. Very thick set. Foster arching his back, trying to get a guillotine from the top. If he can get, if he can get that left leg free and sitting through mount, he really could have Foster in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, as you said, Ben, the half guard of Foster now, the only thing in between. That guillotine show. Mia's holding on to it, Ben. He yeah. seems confident. Exactly. He really thinks he can finish this. The guillotine from Mount. We've seen a lot of fires. A lot of fires use it. Chris Lyle most famously used it quite a lot in his career. I think he beat Dan Hardy in his final fight in the UFC with that very technique. Great but he once again Foster. got the technique once again. Extremely difficult to finish with Armin. And yeah, Foster pops out. Interesting that these guys do share a common opponent at Fight UK as well. Flyweight Mark Hanley. Foster taking him out via rear naked choke in the second round. Mia going one better, stopping him via triangle in the first. Definitely a, an even match on paper and Foster's one loss. Oh, Mia looking for the arm. Very dangerous, save. very Foster's dangerous Mia. One loss Ben was Via strikes, and that's not really what Mia's renowned for. So, Mia, more of a finisher on the ground than with the hands. Oh, nice, nice shot there. Right nice hand, shot. Yeah. Foster doing well with that straight right. Knows he's got to take it to Mia, is that old adage? Nice little to body shot from Mia, though, Ben, showing the progression in his game. Mia, like we say, Dave, a very dangerous flyweight, a worthy champion here at Fire UK. It's his belt that's on the line. Foster coming in to make that challenge. Yeah, I like oh, the there's way some shots, some nice, huge knee, and there's another one. Wow. I think Foster might be in trouble here, Dave. Mia is opening up. Phil Baroni, Dave Monet style. Yeah, and he pulled guard almost then, Josh Foster. Anything to get out of the way of that barrage. Wow, me is so aggressive. I haven't seen him this aggressive before, Ben, not with strikes. We, do, we don't see this side of his game, and we're wondering why, looking at it, a brutal flurry, and that one's melted wow. him. He's down. He's in trouble, and the referee's called it. Wow, fantastic performance from Chris Mia. Ben, you said it yourself in the flyweight division. You string a couple victories together, and you start to make waves. Five and oh. What a hot prospect this young man is. Like you say, Dave, an emerging division and a champion defending his belt in dominating fashion. 5-0 for Chris Mia. What a prospect this man is going forward. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes and 55 seconds of the very first round, your winner due to referee stoppage by ground from the red corner and still for UK flyweight champion Chris Nightmare. But let's hear it for a very worthy challenger. Let's hear it for Josh Foster. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we got time for this evening. Thank you very much to the staff for the Athena. Thank you very much to all the Fight UK staff, all the fighters. But most of all, thanks to you, the paying customers. Because without you, the show wouldn't be possible. Check the website, show next show, February next year. We'll be here. Hope to see you here. My name's Sledge. It's been a pleasure. Thank you and good night.